new members or whether you are returning members. It is particularly welcome to see a record number of women members of the House. And I know that Dominica plays a very important role in the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association. And I'm delighted to use the opportunity of my opening remarks to reaffirm once again our collective commitment to the Commonwealth values that are more important today than perhaps they've ever been before. Across the Commonwealth, COVID-19 has brought new challenges and new uncertainties. We have a vital chance to reaffirm our commitment to democracy, to good governance, to the Commonwealth Charter and to the United Nations Agenda 2030 and the Sustainable Development Goals. Strengthening the role of Parliament is the core mission of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association and post-election seminars have long been a particularly effective tool for our work. This week's aim is to build and strengthen capacity and to share best practice. Peer-to-peer -peer learning has great benefits and I'm delighted that we have such a strong resource team participating during this three-day seminar. Until last November, I served as a Member of Parliament in the United Kingdom and had experience of sitting on both the government and the opposition benches. And what that experience taught me is that mutual learning, both within our countries but also between our countries, is critical if we're going to ensure that parliaments and parliamentarians are as effective as possible. So I hope you have a fruitful, constructive and enjoyable three days. I look forward to joining you again in the seminar uh, on Friday, but perhaps particularly, if I might say, in these difficult times, I look forward to an opportunity at a later stage to meeting some of you in person, possibly in your country. Thank you very much.